For some reason, y'all like to hear my opinion on things NBA related, so we're back. The way this works, there's an Instagram page named NBA Confessions, where the followers DM the creator giving their confessions, something that is probably not a popular opinion in the NBA, and they kind of want to see what the 43,000 followers of this Instagram page believe in, and I'm giving my opinions on all the new ones. Let's go. If Allen Iverson had won three or more rings, he would be better than Kobe. What type of nonsense is this? And that's... Allen Iverson has a special place in my heart. When I first started watching basketball, the first game I've ever watched between, was between Allen Iverson 76ers and my Chicago Bulls. So he has a special place in my heart because he's one of the reasons why I love basketball. But giving rings to a player does not make them better than someone else. Kobe Bryant is the second best shooting guard of all time. You can argue where he goes on the all-time list, but he is definitely the second best shooting guard behind, of course, Michael Jordan. Allen Iverson, believe it or not, he had the opportunities to win rings. When he left Detroit, he went to Memphis, right? And he only played three games in Memphis because he did not like not having a spotlight. He was coming off the bench in those three games. And in just three games, he decided coming off the bench wasn't for me. He retired after that season. He wanted to be in the spotlight, which is fine. Some people are just like that. But if he takes that bench role, maybe not in Memphis, but another team could have scooped them up, a contender. Coming off the bench, Allen Iverson could have been the best six man of all time. But, be, but because he wanted to be a star, it never really happened. Um, but no, he, giving him rings would not give, make him better than Kobe. That's complete nonsense. Ben Simmons will never live up to his expectation. He is the next Derrick Rose. One, don't really know what that means because Derrick Rose in his peak was MVP. Injuries just derailed him. So I don't know if they're trying to take that path saying that he'll just be injured and injured like Derrick Rose. But I don't see that. He's had the one injury, and it, it happened again. He had the, it wasn't healing right, whatever. But he's only had that one injury. He was just drafted last year. It's not like he set out two or three years like Joel Embiid. I mean, we could be talking, if this is Joel Embiid saying that, like we're saying that Joel Embiid may never live up to his hype because of his injuries. That may be more true than this. We haven't seen Ben Simmons at all. He could blossom still into a superstar. Same thing with Joel Embiid. I don't want y'all to be mad. I'm saying that there is a possibility that he will not get to the player that we want him to be just because he can't stay healthy. But this one, I don't agree with at all. Those who say Bill Russell is the GOAT need to realize that he had eight Hall of Famers on his team. I don't know how many people really consider him the GOAT. I know Bill Simmons does, um, the basketball guy. I guess that was his nickname back in the day. I don't, think, I don't know many people that believe that he's the GOAT. I think we all can agree that he was great. But him having good teammates should not take away of how he was as a player. So I don't think people need to just say, oh, well, he was good, but he had eight Hall of Famers on this thing. I don't think that really matters too much. He's not the GOAT, though. God, no. But he was a damn good player. It doesn't matter if Kevin Durant wins seven rings with the Golden State Warriors. His legacy won't change. That is not, no. I do not agree with this. If he wins seven rings, we're not going to say that he left OKC. We're going to say he got seven rings, regardless of your teammates. Him making the move from, from Oklahoma to Golden State, whether you like it or not, it was his right. You know, it was his right. It's okay. You know, it's okay for him to do that. When, when LeBron left, we got those two rings. I don't think we were going to say, well, I mean, he did it with Dwayne Wade, so it don't really count. No, seven rings. If he somehow figured out, figured out a way to get seven rings to Golden State, you will respect him. Though he is playing alongside some great players, getting rings are not easy. Even if your teammates are all-stars. Teams have proven that in the past. Teams with, I mean, the LeBron James Miami Heat team. They didn't win every time, every year that they were there. And their team was were amazing. So I don't think you can take away from him just because he's playing with good players. Especially if he wins seven rings. I hope the Thunder beat the Warriors in the playoffs. And Westbrook says to the Red, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. If y'all don't know, that's like a big quote from Kevin Durant. Uh, that would be cool if he if the Thunder beat the Warriors, but uh, the only way that's possible if they get to the Western Conference Finals, if I'm looking at this right, and I don't even know if they're getting out of first round. I picked Houston in six, and after this first game, it may be four. But now, um, that would be that would be super super dope for the whole storyline of KD versus Russ if this happened. But God, it will it will not happen. <laughs> it will not happen. Trust me. Dirk is the greatest power forward of all time. I'm going to disagree and say Tim Duncan. Um, and a lot of times when I do these best of all times, I'm usually going off based on what I see. So Carmelo, what about Carmelo? I didn't get to see Carmelo's game. Yeah, he scored a lot of points, 
But for me, as far as like deciding who's better than who, even though I, I hate doing that, by the way, I hate saying this guy is better than that guy. That's not fun for me. We should just respect everybody. But anyway, when it comes to that, I got to actually see work. And I didn't see Carmelo pay, play, but I saw a lot of Tim Duncan. In my years of being a fan, I saw a lot of Tim Duncan. In my eyes, Timmy D is the best power forward of all time. Dirk would be in my close second because, again, I've never seen Carmelo. But the best players, the best power forwards I've seen with my eyes, Tim Duncan, Dirk, KG, in that order. Arthur Payton will be a top 10 point guard next season. That's going to be tough because there's a lot of point guards. That's not knocking Alfred Payton. He made Blossom crazy. There's a lot of great point guards, though. Curry, Harden, if you consider him, John Wall, uh, Russell Westbrook, Harry Irvin, Isaiah Thomas, Kimball Walker. There are a ton of great point guards. So for him to get top 10, he's got to take a significant step. And I think the first step will be cutting his hair, man. Cutting, I know it's like him, but somebody over at Reddit made this entire post of why he thinks that Alfred Payton's hair is making his jump shot bad. And it makes a lot of sense. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description if you want to see or if you want to read that because it's very, very interesting. But I'm going to disagree with this one just because I, there are just too many great point guards ahead of him. The 2009 draft class is one of the greatest of all time. When I see stuff like one of the greatest, I'm thinking top three, okay? Um, so here, I pulled up everybody that got drafted that year. Blake Griffin went first, James Harden went third, Steph Curry seventh, DeMar DeRozan ninth, uh, Drew Holiday, Jeff Teague, and those are pretty much the headliners of this draft. Uh, you also got, uh, I think I just saw Patrick Beverly on this list, but those are the headliners. Do I see that being one of the best of all time? No, um, they did just produce some great players, but in my eyes, this draft class was uh, significantly better. <laughs> LeBron, Carmelo, Bosch, Wade, Chris Kamen, he was an all-star, David West, Josh Howard, Mo Williams, even Cal Corver. Like, this was the best draft class of all time in my eyes, and I think it was 1984 draft class or 85, one of the two years, had the best. Um, Kim Olajuwon, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Alvin, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the one, boys, John Stockton. So... I would go one, two, maybe three. I'm trying to think of another year where I think was better. Let's look at the comments. 96, yes, yes, 1996 draft class. The year I was born, this draft class was really decent, right? AI, Sharif Abdul Rahim, Sefa Marbury, Ray Allen, Antoine Walker, Kobe, Paige, just Steve Nash. Yes, oh my God. So the 09 draft class does not stand a chance against the 2003, 1984, and 19. 96 we're gonna end it there boys thank y'all so much for watching these opinion videos are fun to make but of course your opinions in the comment section below let me know your opinions what do you disagree with me on and what do you agree with me on if you enjoyed the video leave it a like if y'all watched yesterday's video thank you that hit like an all-time high in likes in one day so thank y'all so much i'll be bringing more of that in the future but for this video it's over i'll see y'all tomorrow